Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about my Datong rice cooker or steamer. You see here my beloved 25 year old vintage Datong rice cooker. And the reason why it's beloved by so many people around the world is because of its simple front control panel. Now I'm also going to show you my instant pot. And the reason why I've only used it a few times is because it has so many different functions and it literally takes me around two hours just to read the manual and figure out how to use it. Earlier this summer, my Datong rice cooker uh, created a loud bang and stopped working. So the hunt was on to find a new one. I'm so excited to unbox my new Datong rice cooker. It took about two months of waiting from the time the order was placed as there weren't any in stock at the time. The price had gone up substantially over the years, but I figured that if it lasts me another 25 years, then the cost will be well worth it. When the order was placed, there were only two colors available pea green and vermilion red and I chose the pea green because it is one of my favorite colors and I'm really happy about that. White was not available. So the cooker comes with a larger exterior lid. It also comes with the inner cooking pot and a smaller lid that fits over the cooking pot. It also comes with a steamer insert so you can lift the pot or tray that you're using above the bottom of the cooker. It also comes with a plastic spatula and a plastic measuring cup. The order also came with a PDF of a cookbook. And you see the hard copy of the cookbook uh, there and that came with the accessory bundle that was chosen with the order. I was really curious about the accessory bundle as my vintage Datong didn't have these accessories, so I really wanted to try them out. So the accessory bundle came with um, a hard copy of the cookbook, a bowl clip, as well as steamer, tongs, and a shallow tray. Please continue watching as I'll be demonstrating how I steam rice in the Datong rice cooker. As well, I'll be comparing the new cooker to my vintage 25-year-old cooker. So now I would like to compare my 25 year old vintage cooker with the new cooker. And one of the first things that struck me right away was the difference in the lid. The lid of the old cooker is a lot thicker, weightier and much more substantial compared to the lid of the new cooker. And I don't think this is just due to the difference in size. The old cooker is around a 10 cup capacity and the new cooker is around a six cup capacity. I was really pleased to see that the front control panel hasn't changed in its basic design. It's still a simple on off switch and a keep warm function. There's no temperature gauge or timer. It's just simply on off and a keep warm function. So the old cooker also comes with an inner cooking pot and it comes with a shallow tray and I still use this tray because I really love the little tabs on the sides where you hook the handle on top of it. And the new cooker um, comes with a shallow tray that's part of the accessories bundle for which you have to pay extra for and I noticed right away that the shallow tray doesn't have the little tabs on the sides and it, there's no handle that you can hook onto it. You have to use 
the steamer tongs to lift it out, which can be a little tricky. And that's why I still use the old tray with the handles that hook on to the sides in the little tabs. So um, in terms of functionality, um, it's really up to your personal preference as to whether or not you want to get those accessories. And again, it's personal preference as to the functionality and the usability of the accessories. Um, it is a little tricky to get the steamer tongs onto the shallow tray simply because the tray itself, if you're not putting it on top of the inner cooking pot the, and you're just putting it right inside the cooker on top of the steamer insert, the sides go from side to side in the inner walls of the cooker and so it's very difficult to hook on. And the clamp that comes in the accessory bundle, it doesn't have silicone grips, so it's tricky to get a secure fit onto the tray, and it can very easily slip off. So I think in terms of functionality, it would be greatly improved if there were silicone grips at the ends. But overall, I'm really, really happy with the Da Tong. It's still the iconic Da Tong, and I am sure I'll use it forever. I want to demonstrate how I prepare rice in my rice cooker, as it was explained to me by my mother and grandmother using my all-time favorite rice, Kokuho Rose Rice. The manual that comes with the cooker is straightforward to, and easy to understand, so I'm just going to show you how I prepare rice to produce two servings. I fill up the measuring cup to the top with rice, and then I rinse it a couple of times. Then I use the thumbnail method to gauge how much water I should add into the cooking pot. I fill in enough water to reach the length of my thumbnail. The next thing I do is add in one full measuring cup of water to the inside of the cooking pot. Then I place the cooking pot into the Daotong rice cooker. Next put the lid on and then press the switch to the on position as well as depressing the tab at the bottom otherwise it won't start cooking. After approximately 22 minutes you'll hear a soft popping noise as the tab pops upwards and the cooker switches over to the keep warm function and it'll stay in the keep warm function until you turn it off. The Da Tong rice cooker produces a bowl of perfect rice every single time. In my previous review, I included a demonstration of how I steam potatoes in it. I decided to redo the review and this time include how I prepare rice in it as most people using the cooker are using it to prepare rice. For my North American viewers, happy Labor Day weekend. I wanted to leave you with some clips of the Labor Day air show. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell as it really helps my channel.